Hello YouTube. Right now I'm going to be doing is showing you how to root the Galaxy Note 2. Um, I am using my iPad to record it, uh, record this video mainly because my iPhone got stolen and I'm using my Galaxy right now so uh, sorry if it looks a little bit dark. Anyways, um, this is the fastest way to root your Galaxy Note. I am running the... Um, let me just take you. I am running the i317 model and Android version 4.1.2 um, these are what works for me I know there's several others you could just give it a try either way uh, I'm not responsible though but that's what I did um, I tried this root process on mine even though it said it wasn't um, compatible and it worked Anyways, you can do this to Galaxy S3 and all that. Uh, just give it a try. Anyways, back to it. What you're going to need to do is click on the link on the bottom. It'll either take it'll take you to this website where you could either download directly and then um, transfer it over to your Galaxy or um, your Note uh, 2. Or you can go ahead and just um, scan this. I have no idea what the hell this is doing. Scan, scan it with the, a barcode, a QR code reader. Um, I know I have at t so it comes one pre-installed. Once you do that, just go ahead and scan that. And then automatically, a window is going to pop up. And as you can see on the top, it's the little arrow right here is showing that it's downloading. Now, once it's downloading, downloaded, just go ahead and go to it. Um, I already have one, just click OK, just go ahead and click install. This is where you're going to need um, unknown sources checked and USB debugging checked in case if you're transferring in from USB. Um, and then that's it, just go ahead and click install. Then go to your app drawer and you'll have this little QR code right here. It's called Frema Root. And just go ahead and click on it and you can choose to install Super User and install Super SU. And um, or you can go ahead and unroot. Now this does void your warranty. I should just mention that right now before you go ahead any further. Now what I did is um, I didn't know exactly which one of these was for me, so I went ahead and started clicking on all of them, and it said failed, failed until I got to Aragorn. And once you click on it, it'll tell you. Let me just go ahead and click on it. It says success. Super user and SU binary installed. You have to reboot your device, and you just go ahead and reboot. Um, your device of course and then you'll get like this little Android updating thing it, it's just a little line don't worry about it and then you'll come to your app drawer to find super user I think I did right there now I tested it out by simply downloading a root requ required uh, application and uh, where is this root required application that I just downloaded um damn I shouldn't. Okay, this one, the screenshot's free. This requires it to be uh, rooted. Now, if we go, I already allowed this. If you go to Super User itself, then you will be able to see uh, which ones you have allowed. As you can see there, I've allowed it and it actually works. And um, that's basically it. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to my videos um, that way I know you guys are into it and want to know more I'm gonna go ahead and look for some custom ROMs for this or maybe some mods uh, apps and stuff I will be making a video on how to get video editor um, basically video editor is missing on all Galaxy Note 2's uh, US ones uh, you can download it from from Samsung app, but I myself, since I'm running AT&T, wasn't allowed. So um, I'll go ahead and do a video on that. I am trying to get my hands on the international video editor. Uh, my friend doesn't seem to find, can't find the file, but he'll get to it eventually. Anyways, uh, that's it for now, and y'all have a good day.